All right. Oh, my Teresa, my design group. Um, if you go to my business page, um, which is MB Creations, click on the Learn More button now. Um, it'll take you to PayPal. Um, or if you, hey, Don, if you go, if you type in um, the Craft Shack, and it's the one um, with the gold lettering on it um, and the scissors and all that on the banner. Um, and you'll also see the learn more button on there. And it'll take you to um, the PayPal as well. Oh, yeah, you guys probably get a lot of winter going on, don't you? In Canada. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to be using this uh, 26 inch evergreen swag. Um, the skull is actually going to be taking up most of this. So, but I wanted it to be a little bit smaller than the 36 that I normally get. Um, just because I wanted that to be the focal piece. Okay. So this is the skull that I got. It's huge. I'm going to be putting purple gems in the eyes. I haven't put them in there yet. I got this at um, Michael's. And the whole thing, the whole skull is styrofoam. So what I did, let me take these out so they don't fall out. So what I did is I took something sharp and I usually, I use this. I don't know what it's called, but it's, I don't know. You can use it like an ice pick. An ice pick would work. Um, and I poked a hole through the jowls right here and put pipe cleaners on both sides. Okay. So that is going to be our focal piece. I'm going to glue the gems in here in a minute. Now I'm also going to be putting this top hat on the skull. I did kind of poke a hole in the bottom of it so I can use the, um, put this in there and make a pick out of it. And I was going to add this flower on it too because I had a red one on there and I didn't like it. So I'm going to be adding that. Oh, and I've got tons of stuff. So I've got this Thule. Hey, Brittany. Um, I got this Thule that's orange. Spider black with orange spider webs on it. So I may add some of that. I've got some black deco mesh, some natural, and I've got some, I really like this stuff. It's kind of a moss green with gold in it. I don't know if you can see it. It's really, really pretty. So I've got some of that. And this is a good way to use your leftover mesh that you have. Um, and I've got some purple Thule, so I might be um, using some of that as well. I got this one at Joann's, uh, and I think I got the spider web one at Dollar Tree. I got a couple bags of um, purple and gold pumpkins. I got these two pumpkins. I may not use all of this, you guys, but um, we'll see how it goes. I usually design stuff like this as I go. I got these two pumpkins. I got these from Hobby Lobby. They're both styrofoam. Okay. I've got this too. Um, and it was the last one that the craft outlet had. So I may use this. I may not. I'm not quite sure yet. So I'm just going to put this over to the side. I may use it for something else. And I've got some spiders. I've got an orange one and a purple one. I got these both at um, Dollar Tree. I got two purple ones and a couple orange ones. I got both of these at Dollar Tree. And I got these little pumpkins. I got a lot of stuff, you guys. Like I said, I may not use all of this, but options. You gotta have options, right? So, and I got a purple, green, and black one. And I've also got some miniature Halloween balls. I got these at the home store. There's green, purple, and black in there. 
So I may use some of those. And I got some really pretty spiders. These have got jewels in them. I got these at the at-home store. And I got a, a watch, like a stopwatch type of thing. This is an ornament. Um, I got this at a Hobby Lobby. Okay. And these are the gems that I made. I pulled those gems out of. Um, I got these at uh, Hobby Lobby yesterday. It's $15.99, but if you use your 40% off coupon, then uh, you'll get it even cheaper. So I'm going to set this over here. And I'm going to be using some ribbon to make the bow to go underneath his chin. This is a one and a half green polka dot. Um, I got this at Craft Outlet. It's a 50 yard roll. I got this a while ago. I don't know if it's still in stock right now. Um, I'm used to buy this black striped with um, Halloween glitter polka dots. I bought like four rolls of these from Craft Outlet in the one and a half and the two and a half inch because they're always out of it. And I, this is my favorite Halloween ribbon. I know, right, Sheila? <laughs> and I'm going to use this um, purple Harlequin. Since the hat has black and white Harlequin, I didn't want to use too much black and white Harlequin. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use those um, picks or not. But at least this has some Harlequin in it. And it's got the Halloween colors, the purple, the black, and the orange in it. And, and you'll love this, Brittany. <laughs> um, I got some four inch striped ribbon as well. So those are going to be our ribbons for the bows and I got some flowers. So I got them in the deep uh, purple and the orange. So we'll use some of them. I got these from uh, Hobby Lobby as well. So let me put these behind here. <coughs> Excuse me. And you may see a bunch of stuff behind me back here on my table. It's going to be another project in my design group. Um, oh, speaking of, before I forget, I do have a design group. Um, it is a paid group. It's um, called The Craft Shack. And um, right now I'm running a special. I knew you'd love that, Brittany. <laughs> hey, Alice. Hey, Cece. Um, right now I'm running a special for, it's going to be $10 a month for the first 10 people that join. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of different things. We're going to be doing swags like this, um, different kind of swags where I make my own rail, which I can show people how to do that in my design group. Um, centerpieces, florals, grapevines, wreaths, uh, bows, um, you name it, we're probably going to make it. There is a calendar in there. If you join, that will show you what we're going to be making. I do one live a week and two tutorials a week. I do I live question and answers. There's going to be giveaways. There's going to be wreath kits. All kinds of stuff. So, um, you can also go to my business page and click on the Learn Now, Learn More button. Or you can type in the Craft Shack and it'll bring you to the design group page um and you can click on the learn more button there that way as well i'm going to move this over here for a momento so i'm going to first of all i'm going to put the gems in his eyes so i'm going to use purple i was thinking about using green because there's a lot of green in the hat but i wanted the eyes to pop. So let me see if I can do this without burning myself. And then I drop it on the floor. Okay. Alrighty, let's get started, shall we? Okay, I'm gonna pan down so you guys can see better. Okay. Just gonna put some hot glue back of this. And hopefully I center it right. Mm, let's do this. Let's put some glue in there. That way I don't have to touch it. Okay, hold on guys. It just kicked me out of my... 
just kicked me out of my life. Hold on. It does this every time I go live, it kicks me out and I have to go back in. Bear with me. Hold on. It'll when um hold on just a second. I'm sorry guys. I gotta go back in my life. And I just saw the question on my phone. So uh, you will know if you're one of the ten. If you click on the link and it brings you to PayPal, it'll show you the price of the design group. And I'll also get a notification that you've joined. So once the 10 have been filled, okay, then um, it'll go to uh, $14 a month. But you actually get a lot for your, for your $14 a month. And we'll be doing all kinds of things. So we'll be growing as we progress and we get bigger. See, isn't that cute? With his eyes. Ooh, spooky. Okay. Sorry, you guys. I'm still kind of getting over this cold. <coughs> yeah, Alice, it's called um, The Craft Shack. So just if you go in the um, search, just type in The Craft Shack. And it'll... There is a couple groups by the same name. But mine is, my banner is kind of a pink and white and um, you'll know as soon as you go in there. It'll say the Craft Shack Design Group. Yes, Sheila, you can stop at any time if you need to. I'm going to add this flower. Um, and when, before this um, live is over, I'll show you, I'll give you a sneak peek of what the uh, project is going to be on the first the tutorial on Friday. Okay, I'm just put some glue on here and stick that right there. Okay, while that's setting, I'm going to make a bow for you guys. I need a bigger craft room. There goes my head. My head is rolling on the floor. <laughs> oh, sorry. It doesn't take much to amuse me. Um, I'm going to make a bow for the, that's going to go underneath his chin. So, I'm going to use the Easy Bow Maker, my favorite. So, Alice, go to my... Um, my business group, which is m and Creations, and when you go in my business group, there's going to be a Learn More button on the left hand, or the right hand side of the page. And then just click on the Learn More button, it'll take you to PayPal, and you can get um, your subscription set up that way. Or in the search in Facebook, you can type in the craft shack and it'll bring up my design group page as well and you can join from there I think okay so I'm gonna start with the I got oh, I enough room I'm gonna start with a four inch I'm gonna get my tools out I'm gonna need some scissors some wire cutters no not those ones um my needle nose pliers uh, I think that's it for right now. Okay. If you still can't figure it out, Alice, um, let me know at the end and I'll help, I'll walk you through it. Okay. Okay. So let me put this one here. So I want it to have a little bit of tail on there. So I'm going to make it about maybe 10 inches, okay, twist it, because I have fallen in love with the 4 inch ribbon. And I'm going to make some, I'm going to make these probably about a 7 inch loop, okay. And I'm only going to make 2 loops with each ribbon. Hey, Miss Tony. No worries, girl. You're not late. I just started making the bow, so good timing. 
And then you can just hold this one next to the other one and cut it that way to make it even. And I believe I got this uh, four inch stripe ribbon at Craft Outlet. Oh, also, you guys, the top hat that I made, that I showed you, I haven't made that. Um, and you can actually buy that in my Etsy shop as well. If you're looking for some Halloween embellishments. Uh, let's see, then we'll do the purple. Thank you, Sheila. I'll prove you when I get done with the live, okay, honey? Thank you. I, s I appreciate it, Sweet Pea. I'm going to make these um, all tails all about the same size. So this is going to be 10 inches as well. Just it. And I actually, this is probably about 12 inches. This is about 10 inches. So I actually want this one a little bit shorter than the 4 inch one. Okay, so I'm going to make this one about six inches. I know, right, Francine? Right? I love a four inch ribbon. I've been getting four inch ribbon lately for most of my projects. So I'm just in love with it. Okay. Again, you want to just hold it next to the other one. This ribbon is really stiff. I love this ribbon, but it's so stiff. Okay. It doesn't matter if you're smashing it right now because you're just going to fluff it up later. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Your phone was tripping out, huh? And normally I don't put rubber bands on my ribbon like this because you can see how it crinkles it up like that. But since this is a really stiff, heavy ribbon, um, the, the rubber band's not going to hurt that much. Okay. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to kind of break this up a little bit and I'm going to do the green. And I wanted to do this ribbon too because it, it matches the ribbon in the hat. I always forget which way this goes. <laughs> okay. So that one's going to be about 10 inches. Oh, Tony, I love, love the 4 inch ribbon. Love it. And it gives the... Um, I was kind of scared to use it because it's so wide, but the more I use it, the more I'm falling in love with it. And if you have, if anyone of you have an at-home store uh, close to you, they um, do have their Christmas stuff out, and they do sell a lot of four-inch ribbon, um, and it's fairly cheap. It's like four dollars and 99 cents or something like that I could show you what one of them looks like I bought like three rolls of four inch ribbon at the at-home store um, yesterday and I kind of went a little overboard I'll show you it's actually $5.99 this is a four inch ribbon that I got from the at-home store yesterday just one of them and they have some really pretty ribbon. You might be able, if you don't have one close to you, um, sorry guys, my stuff just fell on the floor. Um, you can look online, come on, and you can see if they have their Christmas stuff online yet. Oh, yeah, Facebook's being stupid again. Big shocker there. Okay. I'm gonna, now we're gonna use the striped one. another 10 inches and I'm not really measuring this you guys I'm just kind of eyeballing it um, but you want them fairly close they don't have to be perfect you want them fairly close to um, 
what the other ones are. This one was at five inches, so I'm gonna make this one at four. Normally when I make a bow, I go down on the loops every half an inch, but seeing how we're only using four uh, ribbons on this one, and it's a fairly big, I want it to be whimsical, so I don't want it to be really fluffy and fat and all that kind of stuff, um, like the bows I normally make. So, okay, go. this is my favorite ribbon ever. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I don't know if you can see it, but um, it says m and Creations is on. It says, hey cutie, hi everyone. And I, I am m and Creations, so I don't know how that's on there. Creepy. Creepy. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a zip tie. Hey D, how are you, hon? Oh, D, you're going to fall in love with it. It's addicting. It's addicting. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am, because normally I do a zip tie underneath, like you guys already know, but I am just going to take this out, and there's going to be an indention where the holes were. Okay, so just put the pipe cleaner where the indention is. See if my hands want to work today. Okay, turn it over. And the best way to get this tight, you guys, is fold your ribbon over like this, and then you can twist it. Because I am going to actually put this in the swag itself with one of the tops. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. So, now I got this big old fat bow. No. I No, I don't, Dawn, which is, that's why I was kind of weird. I'm like, um, all right. I'm not sure where that's coming from, but okay. Okay, so this is what I just want to. I'll have to check into it when I get off my live, because that is just really, really weird. I don't know. Okay. And just kind of. I'm not going to alternate those two. Okay. And then what I'll probably do is when I put this underneath his chin, this will be his bow tie. Then I'll probably put like one of those little um, miniature ornaments on there. Thank you. I'm just going to dovetail the ends. So how you do that is you fold this in half and then you cut at an angle like that. And it makes a really pretty dovetail. Hey, Rachel! It was you? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird that it did you as MMB Creations. Weird. I know um, Z had told me earlier that somebody was asking about my design group, and it went through her messenger. Hey, Nancy, how are you? Which I... I don't get that. Okay. I don't know. There's some weird things going on with Facebook today. There's some gremlins in there, I guess. I don't know. Don't know. And if you guys could do me a favor, if you're just joining, if you could spread the love for me, I appreciate it. Uh, now, what I'm going to do with these tails, once I put it on the swag, is I'm going to curl some of them, and I'm going to, like, you want, you want to give your tail some character, and I learned this, I'm in a design group as well with um, Babams, and she does this, I love how she does this. 
she just kind of crinkles it up a bit and it doesn't it give it some character like that and then or you can take your tails and you can take your finger and slide it like that and it slightly curls it just like that but we're going to finish this when i put the head on okay let me finish the head i got a lot of things going on at the same time so bear with me okay so that flower should be good now so what i'm gonna do is i made a hole at the bottom of this so i'm just gonna stick some glue in there okay then i'm gonna take Okay, I'm gonna, come on. Uh, that might not work. Hold on. It's styrofoam, but it's, it's having to get all the way through the um, fabric that's underneath the hat. Okay, I'm gonna let that set a little bit. I'm gonna take my... I'm just going to make a small pick. Okay. And you could save this and use it for some something else to make another pick out of. So, I'm just going to angle it like this. Let me do something real quick. I want to take a pen and mark it so I don't forget where my spot is at. That's weird, Rachel. I don't... Facebook's having some weird things going on right now. I don't get it. Okay, I marked that. Now, I'm going to take my, I call it a nice pick. I don't know what you, what else you call it. I got this at Harbor Freight. Um, I don't know the name of it. But it's got a really sharp end. I use this to poke the holes in my boxes as well to tie down my wreaths. Okay, so I'm just going to shove that in there. <sighs> okay, now it's got a hole in it. So, what I'm going to do, put some glue in there. Hopefully this works, you guys. here for a second so bear with me just gonna make sure it doesn't go anywhere that's what it's called thank you Dawn <laughs> I'm like I'm like I have no idea it's an ice pick I don't know I mean you could use it for an ice pick but sorry I gotta hold this for a second <coughs> I might be able to stand this up. Okay. Let's see if I can stand it up like this. Okay. There. I've got it standing up on there, so I'll let that sit. I don't want any of you guys have to sit here and watch me hold it. That's boring, right? Okay, so here we go. So I this like I said earlier, this is a good way to um, use leftover mesh, okay? Um, this is a 26 inch evergreen swag, and I got this at um, the wreath shop, I bought four of them. Um, they, they're they the only ones that carry the 26 inch that I know of. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I did not measure these. All I did is I took my roll of mesh and I held it up and I just snipped it because you're not going to really see a whole lot so you just I'm just going to curl the ends like this and mash it okay 
Okay. I'm just going to go around the edges. And this is just like your uh, wreaths, you guys. All these are wired. Okay. When we're done with this, you're not going to see a lot of this anyway. The evergreen. Um, I've only got four of these, so I'm going to kind of stagger the green. I wish I had some purple. I have some orange, but I don't really want the orange in there. I wanted it to kind of stay neutral. And you just twist it, just like you do on your normal wreath. Okay. This is what it's looking so far around. I got four, so I can probably put one of these in. And then once I put these around, I'm going to um, fill in the holes once we put the head on. three ties. Whoa, there we go. I love using these swags. Okay. Uh, another black one. I know, I have to do that same thing. Woohoo, it worked. <laughs> Rachel, you're funny. <laughs> And this is not really a ruffle, you guys. It's just, I don't know what you call it. Um, I know Amy from Babam, she uses this technique a lot. You kind of curl it and then squish it. For those of you who are just joined me, if you didn't hear um, earlier, I do have a um, design group called the Craft Shack. It is, I'm running a special right now where the first 10 people only pay $10 a month. And then once the um, 10 are filled up, then it will go to $14 a month which is still a fairly good deal because you do get a lot with it. Um, I do um, one live a week and two tutorials a week. I do um, live question and answers. So if you have any questions, you can always ask questions in the comments as well, but this will be a live one that you can join and ask any questions that you want. Um, we'll also have giveaways, and we will have um, wreath kits, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. So you can either um, get to it by going to my business page and clicking on the learn more button now, and it will take you to PayPal. Okay, this one is not the way I want it. There we go. Okay. Sorry, you guys, I need to blow my nose real quick. Hold on just a second. I need to blow my nose. Sorry guys, I'm still kind of getting over my my uh, cold that I had, my vacation cold, I call it, because I am never flying on another airplane ever again. Hey Lori, how are you? Thank you Lori, I appreciate it. So 
So Lori, I'm making a um, Halloween swag. So I am putting this on top of it with some goodies. Okay, that's pretty on there. Yay! So right now I'm just putting the um, mesh around the sides. And it's time for the head. Uh, thank you so much, Lori. I appreciate it. Hey, Yvonne. It's called um, the Craft Shack Design Group. So you could probably just type it in as well. And it'll have my business page name on there. And you can click the Learn More button now. It'll take you to PayPal. Okay, so... You know what, I'm going to put a little bit more glue on this once. Okay, hold on. I know you guys can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm going to stick some more glue down there. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Okay. And if you guys may want any of these top hats as well, I do have, I do sell them in my shop as well. My Etsy shop. I'm just trying to get this a little cooled off so it doesn't drip all over the swag. Okay, there we go. So, what I'm going to do... I'm just going to kind of flatten this down a little bit. And I'm going to stick that right there. Because I'm going to put, this is where I'm going to put the bow. Is like right here. And I'm going to tie it with these ties. Because it's going to go right underneath this chin. Okay. So, I'm going to reach down. And may. Alright now. Come on. Hold on. I'm going to get some more ties. I don't know why I didn't put black on that, but that's okay. I am going to put another tie on there just to make it longer. I'd rather have too much on there than not enough. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking this tie to make it longer and wrapping it around this way. Thank you, Maggie. Hey, Miss Lori, how's your weather out there, hon? Are you guys doing okay out there? I heard on the news this morning that it was supposed to hit the Carolinas, and I, I thought of you this morning. Hope you guys are doing okay out there. Thanks, Rachel. Hey, Rachel, I'm going to be buying that um, pumpkin topiary sign that you made on that um, swag that you did last night. I love that one. So it'll probably be next week on payday. I will. I'm, I am going to get one. Okay, good. Is it supposed to hit you guys, have they said? You know, all this time I was thinking, you know, I should buy a, like a, a vacation home or something like that and rent it out in the Bahamas. <laughs> no. Not doing it. Not now. Not that they're going to be getting hit with bunch of hurricanes. Okay, now, there we go. Let me get this through. This is going to be the hard part. Let me see if I can I could just twist tie this in here. And before I knock everything over. That's one good thing about these swags, you guys. These evergreen swags. 
like I said earlier, these, uh, these are all wires. Alright, so let me see if I can get this behind. Somewhere. So I'm just tying these twist ties, or these pipe cleaners, behind the Evergreen spot. <clears throat> and on the back of these, you guys, no, it's not going anywhere. You can always put, um, like, more Evergreens on the back if you don't want to show these, which I'm probably going to do. So, now that's how we have it so far. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to take our bow. You guys, I'm going to turn my fan on, you guys. It is raging hot in here. Oh. Ow. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this. Scrunch this down in there. <clears throat> the good thing about, um, I always say the good thing, using a tie like this is you can take one of these, like I'll probably use a purple one to tie. I'm going to show you how this works. <sighs> so if I take one of these, let's say, take off the end of it. Okay, see how there's a little hole at the end of it. Now, you can put on a bigger one, like I've got these, let me show you on these pink ones, because they got a bigger hole at the bottom. Okay, so this one's got a bigger hole. So when you twist it up to a point like this, and you put glue inside the, um, the bulb, you can stick it right on there like that. And it doesn't go anywhere. It's a good way to be able to use your tie like that. But since this one is smaller, I am going to have to just kind of spread it out like that because I'm going to have to glue it on here. Or I can use, just use you one. Yeah, I don't know where it went. Yes, I totally agree, Maggie. Praise the Lord. Okay. Okay, see? Just like that. Um, and then, I'm going to kind of fluff that up. And I'm probably going to um, glue these ties in too later. So let me show you how to kind of curl. I'm just going to keep this one kind of straight, the purple one. Okay. This one I'm going to kind of just punch up like that so it's got some character to it. Now with these, you want to take your, these two fingers, okay, and curl it just like that. Okay. And you can make them even shorter. You don't have to make them this long if you don't want. Let me pull this out so you can see what it looks like so far. Thank you. Now, like this is why, because I said it takes up this whole thing, right? <coughs> Sorry. You're going to have to excuse me. I'm still getting over my cold, so bear with me, you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bulb. I'm going to pin back down so you get more of a close-up. Okay. 
Okay. Hey Amber, how are you? Huh. Oh, sorry, Yvonne. I hope you guys are okay out there. Um, my design group, Yvonne, is called the Craft Shack. Thanks, Amy. So I'm just gonna put some. Oh, what is wrong with my <clears throat> my glue gun lately? But I took it out to Portland with me when I went on vacation um, to make my niece a bow for her um, her little baby's crib. So my great niece. And ever since then, I don't know if it's the altitude or the pressure or what, but it just it leaks really bad. So note to self, don't take the craft glue gun on the plane. <laughs> Just saying. There we go. Okay. Wait, just like that. Isn't that pretty? Gives it some gives them some style. Okay, now what we're gonna do. I want to look at these over here. So I'm going to use these later to fill up the gap. I want to take this watch and this watch I got at Hobby Lobby. You can see it. I got like six of these. Um, so you can use them for all kinds of things. There we go. I'm just going to kind of glue this in here. Let's see. So I'm trying to figure out where... That's a good spot to put it. Okay. I'm just going to kind of glue this right here. Crevice right in here. There's gels that'll just fit perfect. I'm gonna hold that for a second. Thanks, Rachel. Hey, Amber. Sorry, I don't remember if I said hi to you or not. I just want to make sure I don't miss anyone. So, and then I think what I'll do. I might put a pumpkin behind it. I'm just make, I'm gonna hold that down just a little bit more. Make sure it sticks. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. These colds take forever to get over. Okay. So what I might do. I need to see what I'm doing. I'm just going to stick this. I'm going to put some glue right down here at the bottom. I'm going to put quite a bit of it. Don't be scared to use a lot of glue, you guys. Because you want to make sure these do not come off. But the last thing you want is a customer calling you, emailing you, saying, um, my outfit embellishments have come off. Yeah, we don't want that. That one's trying to come off. Okay. I just do not want to stay on there. Oh, I hurt my finger. Owie, owie, owie. And just don't get it on your fingers. <laughs> Oh, that's right. She's in school now, huh, Brittany? How's she liking it? She likes school now? Um, she loved the kind of glue I'm using right now. It's through, who is it? Um, I think it's Adteca. I can't remember. It's a normal, 
um, brand that's out there, but it's a um, high temperature glue. But once this is gone, um, I'm going to be getting some Gorilla Glue, which I've heard is 10 times better. So, okay, I'm going to stand up for these. This does not want to stay on there. Let me press that on. Sorry, I'm getting glue all over myself. Oh, good. It's always nice when they like school, right? I was always bullied when I was in school. That was so little. that one on there. Alright, let's put, let me show you what it looks like so far. Isn't that cute? Got this little pumpkin behind there. So I'm going to put a, let's see, I'm thinking about putting a big pumpkin up here, but I want to kind of stagger it. Okay, let me take the stupid thing off. Really? They glued, <laughs> they glued the stem to the label. And then we could take the green one. How did I do that? Seriously. Okay. I'm gonna put this one down here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You guys think so I got the green one down here and the purple one up here thank you Sheila thanks Brittany oh you guys could do me a favor if you haven't yet if you could spread the love for me I appreciate it okay so I'm gonna put some more glue on here. Okay. And I'll put that right there. I'm gonna hold that there for a minute. Like I said I might not use everything, but I'm going to put one of these. Oh, one sec. Shit. Ooh, that one's coming off. Uh, oh, I can put a spider up there. Oh, let's put a spider up there. Let's see. Yeah. This spider up there. I like that spider. Okay, I'm gonna put the spider on there. I got glue webs all over me. Okay. okay. Just, uh, I'm gonna hold this for just a little bit, you guys, because it's wanting to come off. I got glitter all over me. I think my next live, you guys, I might do is on YouTube. I've never done a live on YouTube yet before. So, I don't know. I think I might do that. I know Lori says I should. So, I should probably take her advice and do it, right? 
Right, Lori? I don't know if she's still on or not. Okay, so that one's on. Okay, now let's turn it around this way. And this one I'm going to have to hold part of it because I need to put it down like this. And they have these um, pumpkins at what is it, Hobby Lobby? There we go. Um, they have it in purple in this green one, and then they have it in black. And they're styrofoam, so if you need to, you can always put a skewer on the bottom of them and use them as a pick as well. I'm just going to flip this here real quick. I know, I do too. I get webbed all over me. I put a um, spider in this one too. See, this is why I have to hold it. I have to hold it a little bit, you guys, sorry. See, this oh, these just go right in there. Okay, please put some glue in there. If you put the glue in the hole in the styrofoam and then stick your stick in there, it pushes the glue down in there. Okay, so then you don't have to worry about getting it on the stick first. We got flying sticks, guys. Okay. I guess I should put that bigger stick in there. Oh, getting glue all over myself. Hold on, guys. I need that stick that just flew across the room. I can find it. Okay. I need the longer one. It's styrofoam, so you just push these right in there. Uh, yep, these I got at the Dollar Tree. Some glue on the bottom of this stick. Careful I'm not getting it all drippy. I'm going to just shove it right down in there. Okay. 
Yeah. Let's see. These legs move, which I love. I got these again. I got these at the uh, at home store. So again, if you don't have an at home store, um, check online at the at home. I think it's at home.com or just Google it and it'll come up for you. Okay. Put some glue on the body. Over. Okay. Now, I'm gonna this one. Put this one in here. Uh, I put that one right there. Make sure before you glue anything in that you place it first so you know where you want it. Because once you glue it in there, it's a mess to get it back out. Okay. okay that one dry. So, you know what I can do? Um... You know, and I've got, I think, one more Halloween project coming up. Uh, it's actually going to be in my design group, but um, so that I can use a lot of this stuff for. I'm thinking I could put one of these spiders on this hat. That'd be kind of cool, huh? Put the spider on the hat. I think might be all done. I just gotta put some more like that. What do you guys think? Should I put the spider on the hat or no? Did I lose you guys? Big spiders. Those, those. Just try to clean them up a little bit. I don't know if I should put that on there or not. So what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna put some more mesh around. I think I'm gonna put this one. I'm gonna use some of this Thule with the lovely the glitter um, spider webs, and I'm just gonna do this as like a ruffle, just to give it some little extra, <clears throat> you know. They're just kind of filling in the holes. And if you guys wanted to use a um, a black, like evergreen um, swag, Craft Outlet carries them in black. That would be perfect for this. Okay, I'm gonna put a black one right there. Hey Indigo, how are you? Thank you for coming, hon. 
Um, the hat, I actually made the hat, but you can buy them in my store. Um, I have them priced at about $30 in my Etsy shop. But yeah, I made them. Yvonne, um, I'll send you the link um, when we get done with the live. Will that work? And I know, I think Lori put my link up on the page as well on the uh, live if you want to scroll up. I, I think she put it up a little bit ago. Guys, this is a really good way to use up your leftover mesh if you're wondering what to do with your leftover mesh. Um, this is all 10 inch mesh that I'm using. So if you have a lot of 10 inch mesh left, this is a good way to use up. Got a hole right here. I will, Indigo. You are very welcome, Yvonne. Okay, let's see if I can get this in here. You want to just shove it down in your tie and twist it. And you guys could do, and you don't have to use these same colors. This is just the leftover mesh that I had. Um, you could use purple, you could use um, orange. This one. Let me put a little bit of purple right there. The sky is the limit, guys. Open. Um, and Joanne's has tons. See, this is how I don't I don't measure. So this is how I do. I just pull it for these swags. I don't. For like my regular wreaths, I do measure my um, mesh. Because with the deco mesh reads, you just you really want to make sure that they're even. They look kind of funky if you don't. Okay, I need a tie. Let's just come right here. Let's do it this way. I like this purple mesh. It's like a splatter mesh. It's like a a web mesh, see? I don't know if you can see it, but you can kind of see it's a, kind of like a splatter. Splatter, splatter. I might put a green ball right there. Let me cover that. Suckers. There it goes. 
Just gather it like you normally would a ruffle. You see, if I had a black evergreen swag, I'd probably use that one instead. could do. Okay. I'm going to show you guys something. If you don't have a um, pick, you can take one of these, poke a hole in it, and, oops, the other side. don't go through the other side like I did. Okay, let me turn it again. I kind of go straight. And the reason why I'm doing this, I'm going to make the hole a little bit big, because I'm going to stick it right on this tie. Just like that. Voila! Take some more purple. This stuff sticks to everything. And put it in this tie right here. And if there's a little bit of green showing, it's it's fine. I mean, you don't have to hide all of it, but you want to try to find hide most of it. Okay. You can always roll them under as well. Almost done guys. Let's see. Right here. Let's do some black right there. Actually. Aw, thank you, Tony. Thank you, Teresa. Okay, Teresa, sounds good. Don't feel bad, Tony. It kicked me out of my own live earlier, so don't feel bad. Okay, let's stick this one I should put some purple right there. Oh, I did black last or purple last time. Let's do more black. And I got this um, spider web toolie from the Dollar Tree, I think. try to fill oh I can't see your comments the feathers in the way <laughs> you just want to try to fill the holes as much as possible 
um, you know what's funny is I've just realized I haven't made a regular deco mesh wreath in holy I don't know how long since I've started learning to do centerpieces and wall hangings and stuff like that I just I haven't done one that crazy I like to spread out my, my horizons though I don't like to put all my eggs in one basket um, you know people like to see that you can do multiple different things because not everybody is a wreath person right so let's see these are my butts um another black one right there and i still have some left uh, 10 inch mesh left over for another project if i want Almost done. So you guys can see should I I'm still debating whether I should let me hold this up so you can see it I'm still debating whether I should put this spider on the hat or not I don't know what you guys think there's spiders already on it there's see there's a little spider right here and there's one on the other side What do you guys think? Let me hold it up this way so you can see. Yes to the spider? I know I got some stuff up here. I think I might put the spider on there. Put it on the side. Put it at like an angle. I don't want an orange one. Yeah, I think I'll put that on there. I don't know how I'm going to attach it though. I don't know. I just realized it's kind of hollow underneath, so I don't know how I'm going to attach it. So what do you guys think? I think it turned out really pretty. Oh, and let me show you, I know I was going to show you guys the uh, upcoming five. Oh, there go all my balls on the floor. Oh, you know what I forgot? Crap. I forgot my flowers. Okay, hold on. I gotta put some flowers in here, peeps. Can't forget my flowers. That's what I bought them for. Oh. Big red truck. Let's see where we'll stick this one. Looks good right there. Okay. I'm going to stick this flower right here. Okay. Stick that one right there. I'm stand up for this. I need a bigger table. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Where should I stick an orange one? 
and save your leaves, you guys, on your flowers. Um, because if you're going to be doing florals, you never know when you're going to need some leaves. And that's a good way. I love these leaves on these flowers. So I will save them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks cute right there. I almost forgot about my flowers. <gasps> That's no bueno. Okay, that's that one. Let's do one um, right here. A purple one right there. What did I do for real? See, and these will fill in some of the holes too. I thought I was forgetting something. Oh my crap. Okay, that can go there. Let's see. Oh, just sorry, just kicked me out again. Hold on, guys. Gotta get totally get out of Facebook. Get back in. That's trying to get me back in the Facebook. Let's see. Come on. So bear with me, you guys. I can't see your comments because Facebook decided to kick me out again. This one right there. Ugh. I hate Facebook sometimes. Which is why I think I'm going to start doing these on YouTube. see your comments because Facebook won't let me back in my live. It's just sitting there with a blank page. So Put glue all over and then stick it right down in there. We do a little one. This right there. Oh, it's cute right there. Okay, I can see your comments now. <laughs> oh, never mind. It kicked me back out. What is wrong with Facebook? me out three times today. Three. Is that my magic number? Okay. 
like that. And I'm going to put a little flower over here. Oh boy, Jordan. And I love Halloween. Oh, Halloween. Okay. There we go. So save that. Hmm. Alright. So now we got the flowers in. I'll save the rest for another project. Save the leaves. See, and I still got a lot of stuff left over. All of my balls are on the floor. That's awesome. Come on, Facebook. Seriously. Okay. So, I can't see your comments because Facebook won't let me back in. Hold on. I think something's happening. Okay, here we go. Alright, here's the finished one with the flowers in it. I think it looks much better with the flowers in it now. I don't think I'm going to put the spider on the hat just because I don't, I can't find a way to put it on there, but I think it's okay without it. Super cute! Oh, and let me show you. So, a sneak peek for the project that, and the tutorial that I'm going to be doing in my design group on Friday. Okay. Pumpkins. Ribbons. And then, and flowers. So, this is a tutorial that I'm going to be doing in my, so, so you have a kind of an idea of the things that I do in my design group. Um, I got these pumpkins at Joann's, and I added glitter down the sides here and put rhinestones on all the sides, a little bow on it, I did the same for the little ones. So how this is going to work, <clears throat> not to give everything away, but okay. So if you want more information about my design group, um, let me know. You can send me um, an instant message in Facebook Messenger, and I can send you the link. Thank you, guys. Um, it's it's gonna be fun. Um, I do have a like I said a calendar in my design group of everything that's gonna be coming up, so you have an idea of what you're gonna be. <clears throat> learning how to do. So I had fun doing that. That swag. That was fun. Let me put this stuff away so I can get this off. And you can see. Oh, thank you, John. Thank you, Jonathan. I just saw your comment and Facebook kicked me out for a fourth freaking time. Are you kidding me? I hate Facebook. I hate it. So I saw your comment right before it kicked me out, Jonathan. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't have enough 
room in my craft room. Sorry, hold on guys. I'm just trying to make some room so I can put the swag back on the table. So Jonathan, are you going to start doing reads again and stuff? I know you said you were going to take a kind of a hiatus with that, right? There we go. Come on, Facebook, seriously. I can't see comments. I'm wondering if it's because my husband put the Wi-Fi out in the living room because he wasn't getting a signal out in the garage. God forbid. He plays pool out there with one of our neighbors, so I don't know if that's why. So do you guys have any questions about anything? I appreciate you all guys, all you guys for coming. It was really fun. Actually, this was my first time making something like this, so I think it turned out really cute. Thanks, Jonathan. Well, thank you guys for hanging with me. Um, I am going to be doing another live shortly. Um, I'm just trying to figure out... <laughs> If you saw my spare bedroom right now, I've got like five or six projects laying all over the bed. Hey Donna, how are you? Is it Donna or Donna? Um, so I just got to figure out which one I want to do. Alright, it kicked me out again, so maybe that's my cue. Um, thank you guys for hanging with me. I appreciate everything. Um, I will let you know. I should be going live here in a couple days. Um, I just got to figure out which project I want to do. Uh, it might be, it's probably going to be a Christmas one. Um, I'm just not sure if it's going to be swans or uh, something else. Um, maybe a sugar skull wreath. I don't know. Um, but I'll let you guys know once I figure it out. Thank you guys so much. I love you all. Mwah.